Separate investment arms of wealthy families now manage more money than hedge funds. Robert Frank is launching a new CNBC and CNBC Pro series today on these. They're called Family Offices. And Robert joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Andrew. Great to see you. Well, family offices, as you mentioned, now larger than all the hedge funds in the world, and they are competing directly with private equity, venture capital, and wealth management firms. Analysts estimate family offices now manage more than $6 trillion in assets. That's more than the estimated $4 trillion for hedge funds. There are about 10,000 family offices in the world today. That's up tenfold from the early 2000s. This growth is all being driven by more wealth at the top and a shift away from wealth management firms toward more direct control and direct investing by the wealthy. So you take a look at MSD Capital. That's tied to the family office of Michael Dell. They recently bought half of the $2.5 billion digital consulting firm West Monroe. They're also funding a growing number of deals directly. Right now, with inflation and rising rates, many family offices are building cash and moving away from hedge funds and publicly traded stocks. A survey from UBS found about a third of their assets right now are in equities. About 20% is in private equity, which is far and away the fastest growing segment for family offices right now. Wall Street firms also chasing this gold mine of fees from family offices. Morgan Stanley just created a new digital platform for family offices that already has $25 billion in assets. And as you mentioned this morning, it's very exciting because the first of our family office investor interviews, that's where we talk to top family office CEOs and CIOs, is live on CNBC Pro. Andrew? Hey, hey Robert, how much of, though, is there double counting here? Because, you know, these most family offices, I mean, and you mentioned Michael Dell's family office, but most family offices are actually not doing what might be described as direct investing. What they're really doing is, you talked about Morgan Stanley, they're handing it over to Morgan Stanley, they're handing it over to hedge funds, they're handing it over to private equity firms to effectively manage. So they, they, they almost look much more like, um, you, know, uh, uh, you know, even what like a Scaramucci's doing, which is basically moving the money and handing yeah. it over to different, to different Fund places. Fund of funds. Yeah. Fund of funds, exactly. Yeah. No, no question. Most of these, as you say, look, family offices start at about $100 million. That's when it starts to make economic sense. And most of those, they do some direct investing, but most of them use outside managers, especially for equities, and they do some hedge funds. So you're right. Let's say that $6 trillion that we're talking about for family offices, there is some overlay to the $4 trillion that we're mm -hmm. talking about for hedge funds. But that amount and into hedge funds and outside managers is falling quite quickly because more of these family offices want to invest directly in buying right. companies or buying stakes in companies.